One of the big issues that we face here in New Jersey, I'm from Red Bank, I'm in Congressional District 6, and immigration is a huge, huge issue for us. Um, illegal immigration and, and mm -hmm. dealing with, with the issues that surround it. Uh, the, the change in loitering laws, the, the, the issues of education that, that surround these things. And in this bad economy, of course, competition for jobs, competition for housing. Yeah. Um, you're an immigration attorney. How do you address the immigration issue for in Washington for Congressional District 6? Well, I think at this point, uh, I'm the best equipped candidate um, in Congressional District 6 race in the primary um, and then in the general to deal with immigration reform. Um, we have a real problem uh, with immigration. We have a flood of illegals that come across the border. Uh, our government, instead of deporting those illegals uh, over the years, has every 10 to 12 years put an amnesty in place. This is an incentive, historically, um, for these illegals to remain in the United States. Amnesty is based on a, a required period of time of physical presence here. So on the one hand, our government has been saying, don't come in without a visa, and, on the other, and don't overstay your visa if you do. On the other hand, they've been saying, but if you stay here for 10 years or longer, and you have a qualifying relative, somebody in your family who's a citizen or a resident, that's okay, we'll excuse you. So what the immigrant has been told in their home country, in many, place, in many cases, by their government, whose economy is not doing well, go to the United States, try to hide out for 10 years, and get a green card. We've got to change that. We have to stop the flow of illegals coming across the border. People need to come in legally. They need to respect the law. The second thing we need to do is we need to monitor temporary visitors and temporary workers in the United States. That is not being effectively done. The law is in place to do it. It has not been implemented. So we need to take care of that. Um, as far as enforcement with regard to those who have been, have been ordered deported or who have been convicted of crimes, those individuals seem to be being placed efficiently into removal proceedings and being removed from the United States. I think that that is being done well. We do need to support the Secure Fence Act. The Secure Fence Act is going to make enforcement of the border um, more possible. It is, is nearly physically impossible right now. Um, this also protects human life because those that are coming across the border illegally are paying criminals called coyotes and they're being um, placed into the back of box trucks and when immigration is on the scene those trucks are abandoned and the people are cooked alive. I mean it's really a bad situation so it, it just in general with regard to human life we need to do something about our borders. Um, beyond that we have uh, this anchor baby issue that a lot of people have been concerned about um, and I hear that concern. If two illegals come across the border and, and a woman gives birth to a child here, that child should not derive citizenship. If one of their parents has a permanent resident card, a green card, or um, has citizenship, then the child can derive. That needs to be a reform because under our present law, um, just the act of birth here in the United States gives citizenship to a human being. So we, we need to correct that. And there's been a long history of that, but I still think it needs to be done. What do we do about all the illegals that are here now? Um, that's a big question. Uh, we have two choices with that. We either, and I think in this economy, this, this first choice might be best, um, we either um, raid and uh, remove, okay, the two R's, um, or we're going to have to document them, give them just enough time to become a resident and then remove. Now, in this economy, I think that there are enough U.S. workers available for most in-need positions that it might be okay for us to just raid and remove. Um, there have been economic times when uh, there was not an availability of U.S. workers. We need to really do an overhaul on um, the economic studies relative to small and mid-sized business and different areas of the industry where immigrant workers are prevalent. I do believe there is a disparity between the documented a number of um, required immigrant workers and what's actually required in order to keep these industries functioning. And with this newest economic downturn in these last few years, I don't believe there's been proper documentation. So we need to get that information straight and then we need to uh, establish a policy that effectively removes undocumented illegal workers from the workforce, replaces those workers 
with U.S. people who are out of work now. And um, then we need to restructure going forward the requirements for this economy, industry by industry. And that, that sounds great, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it on a very personal level. Mm -hmm. Those are all individual human beings. Yes. It's a really challenging, you know, it's, it's an easy thing to say from here, and I, I, I'll say it myself. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a great plan, but when you're talking about dealing with an, you know, an individual human being who's standing in front of you crying, say, crying saying, I, you know, I, I'm going to go back and, and be homeless and poor and have nothing, how can you send me away? Um, I'm going to have to tell them that they need to do something at home. Okay. I love human beings so much. I'm so empathetic, and part of the reason why I can be as conservative as, as I am and do the work that I've been doing is because of that love for human beings. But we need to self-determine at home. And what's happening right now in many countries is they're running away. They're not dealing with their own problems domestically. They're running away, and they're expecting the United States to give them a home so that they can avoid dealing with their own problems. We're enabling the situation in many of these other countries. I think we can teach democracy. We can teach by our example. Um, I think we can encourage certain behavior through our trade relations with other countries. Um, I think there's a lot we can do to help those immigrants. And I think we can educate how to come in legally because frankly, it's less expensive and certainly less dangerous for all immigrants to come into this country via the law that we have on the books to pay tens of thousands of dollars to a criminal who may cause them to, to lose their life in the process of crossing the border is not going to be palatable if they understand the rules as to how they can get here legally. And I think that's what's best for them, that's what's best for their families, and it's certainly what's best for America.